Imagine for just a second where a world where creating high quality 3D arts not constrained to having a desktop PC or a power hungry overpriced laptop at the professional level. Now that world is closer than you think and I'm going to explain in this video why. And I'll tell you right now. ZBrush is coming to iPad. Now for years, people haven't taken mobile devices seriously as pro level de devices, but this has been changing over the last few years. I'm very much a PC user. And um, a year or two back, I got an iPad Pro because I work from home in a home office. And after eight hours plus per day, I'm not always feeling the vibe of like going back and sitting in the same chair and opening up Blender or ZBrush or Plasticity in the same space for another few hours. So when I got my iPad, it opened up the ability to use apps like Nomad, Sculpt, Procreate, Cozy Blanket, Forger, Lightroom, now DaVinci Resolve and Octane Renderer on the iPad. It's certainly becoming more of a... Um, a great device to use i can quietly move to the other room sit on the couch put on a podcast or tv sculpt re-topologize on the couch peacefully listening to death metal gabba and d beat um i recently did a video actually questioning whether or not ipad is ready as a pro level device and my conclusion is yes but nah but kinda but now that I noticed ZBrush is coming to iPad in 2024, I initially thought, cool, that's exciting. I'll try that out. And if it's fully featured, it's going to be a game changer. For its sculpting capabilities, sure. But we've already got Nomad and Forger. And they're pretty much a good place to start um, sculpting a model. If you need to get a little bit more nitty gritty with it, you can just move it to the PC and and finish it off in ZBrush. And you can get a lot of these tasks just done in, in, in Nomad Sculpt. So why do I think that ZBrush coming to the iPad is a game changer if we've already got decent sculpting apps on the iPad? Poly modeling. Strangely enough, there's a bit of a gap for poly modeling. Now, Forger's got some poly modeling tools, but they're janky as shit. Now, ZBrush, which is owned by Maxon, who also own Forger and also Cinema 4D, is coming to the iPad and it's got a brush in there called the Z Modeler brush, which is a super powerful poly modeling tool. And I reckon this could really plug a hole in the uh, mobile only workflow if they bring a fully featured version of ZBrush to the iPad, which I'm hoping they do, including capacity for plugins and all of that. Um, yeah, I think that the mobile 3D workflow um, in a couple of years could be an end to end thing, but we do need companies like this to bring their apps to uh, the mobile devices and hopefully they do it for Android as well. Um, it'll be interesting because it's very keyboard shortcut orientated. It'll be very interesting to see how they implement it. But really, if they bring um, Z Modeler, uh, which you can see on your screen right now, to um, iPad, that would be amazing because this is a super powerful tool and it's got all these context options. So if you hover over a face, um, You've got the face options. If you hold down space well, you get all of these different tools you can use. If you hover over an edge, you get a different set of tools. So I can move a face down. Um, it's just really amazing. You can make new poly groups. Amazing stuff. Like if this comes to iPad, it's going to be an absolute game changer. Poly modeling on the couch with one of the most it's a really quirky poly modeler, by the way. It is weird. It's like nothing else out there. But it's a very good one. And um, hopefully that changes things. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening. Um, 
see you in the next one i've got a few plasticity videos coming up uh in the next wee while choose